Hi, my name is Rufus Addison, and I agreed to share my story and give a perspective for the National Diabetes Awareness Month. Um, I understand that this year's theme is taking control of diabetes by managing your healthcare team, which uh, having a good healthcare team is very important. Uh, I've had diabetes for about nine years now. I, I just turned 49 this year. And uh, so you have nine years. Uh, the symptoms I had before being diagnosed with diabetes, uh, basically, you know, nine years ago, it started with uh, having to use the restroom or using the bathroom. Uh, I was urinating a lot, uh, repeatedly, and I knew that wasn't normal. Um, I started um, my vision was next as far as symptoms i started uh things were being you know were blurry at nighttime when i was driving brake lights were blurry uh, being in class i would have to move to the front of the classroom just to be able to see the board when back in the days i could sit in the back and see the board clearly uh so i'm i get a physical annual physical been doing it for years and I um, what's so funny is before I was diagnosed with diabetes I had a I just had a physical my doctor gave me a you know, good bill of health but then by the week the same week I was experiencing symptoms with diabetes uh, was the same week or the end of the week that my doctor uh, advised we need to come I need to come back in and, and we need to sit down and have a talk and then that's when I was diagnosed with diabetes thankfully uh, since diabetes is not her specialty she referred me to a endocrine endocrinologist which made the world of difference also to, and to assist me with managing uh, having diabetes um, they started me out with a nutrition uh, nutritional class uh, advising you know as far as what to eat you know measuring based on my carbs because you know a lot of people think that with diabetes is all about the sugar but you know it's all about the carbs um, so you know I, you know nine years ago I started out with metformin about five years ago then I you know type 2 then I about five years ago four or five I think I went up to becoming type one. So I am taking insulin, uh, one for 24 hours and my other insulin I take for meals. So again, you know, diabetes is all about managing. You manage it uh, with exercise and diet. So uh, I try to do a you know, good job of eating. Uh, I, I do cook my own meals. I have all these diabetic cookbooks that I use to make sure that I'm not using a lot of, you know, high sodium or seasonings and things like that. So a lot of my meals are, are basically based on carbs. Uh, to keep, make sure I'm having, you know, not too much carbs, but just enough carbs to kind of keep everything balanced. Um, but who makes up my health care team again is my endocrinologist and my primary care physician. Uh, again, the endocrinologist I go see every two to three months and um, again, they keep up or do a good tracking of my A1C levels, make sure I'm on point with that. And if I need to increase or decrease my insulin, they'll let me know. They'll let me know. Uh, again, as far as the health, life and health style changes I made, again, working out, uh, watching my, my eating habits. Um, you know, everything is, is all about moderation. I work out about four or five days a week with two days off. Um, I'm always watching the amount of carbs that I intake. And, you know, I guess the one main thing I would want people to know during National Diabetes Awareness Month is just that, you know, for me, diabetes taught me how we should be eating and living in the first place. How about that? So get your, you know, get some exercise, eat right, watch the carbs, and you'll be fine. I hope that helps. Thanks.